What's up guys, Turn Green Go Ham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Uh, so I've gone ahead and cleared out New Game Plus 2. I killed all the bosses, well all the ones we needed to anyway. And I am uh, getting ready to go track down all the New Game Plus 2 rings for you to help you with that Platinum Trophy. So uh, if you followed the walkthrough and followed the New Game Plus rings uh, guide, this will be the last thing you need for that platinum trophy provided you've done all the grinding for the covenants so uh, anyway guys uh, one other thing to mention uh, I would like to get the Dark Souls remastered walkthrough started uh, we're gonna do an uh, overpowered early top walkthrough uh, but I need some feedback I need to know what do you guys want to see me play do you want to see an OP caster uh, strength build uh, dex build of course we're probably going to mix pyromancy in with whatever we do because why would you not it's free in dark souls remastered there's no stat requirements but uh do let me know what you'd like to see so that i can um, put out a walkthrough that uh you guys are really interested in so um doing it as uh you know, an, an answer to requests that I've had for uh, the Dark Souls Remastered. So we're going to get that up on the channel. Uh, following that, we're going to do a Dark Souls 2. Uh, probably a overpowered early Hexer build. I think is the way I'm going to go. But anyway, guys, let's get into it. Let's go track down those new game plus two rings. Okay, guys, so our first ring is going to be here at the... Bonfire for the Dark Moon Blade. So, uh, once for Man Orlando, you just walk off the invisible bridge from the uh, turnstile. Come over here, drop down, and then we need to work our way down here safely. Remembering where the drops are is key. Go ahead and pick some stuff up on the way down. And a guardian set. And yes, right there. So we need to walk off here. And there you go, Havel's Ring plus two. Our next new game plus two ring is going to come from the Profane Capital Bonfire. So you're going to go to the Profane Capital Bonfire, go down the ladder here. Then we're going to run over and pop out the hole in the wall. And then follow the stairs down. It'll almost look like there's nothing down here right here we're gonna grab the magic stone plate ring plus two okay guys our next ring is going to be the corinthy ring plus two uh to get to it you come back to road of sacrifices pick these guys out no big deal at this point and then up there with the storyteller caster we normally dropped off to the right This time, however, we're going to drop out to the left. Make sure we kill him before he calls other buddies. Oh look, another storyteller staff. So right here you can see it. And there we go, Florenthy Ring plus two. The next of our new game plus two rings, we're going to be heading from the Cleansing Chapel bonfire. We're going to go in the left side and head up to the top of the cathedral. Uh, so we've been up to the rafters several times. That's how you get to Rosaria's Covenant, Rosaria's Fingers. Um, and there's an axe skeleton up there that we've killed several times. But in this particular run through, we're going to find that 
Uh, he's guarding something. Which he hasn't been before. We'll head up the ladder. Just let our affinity... Ooh, take care of him, I guess not. Kind of never attacks. It's weird. It's like he's just there to give you a ring. Take our little thrall out. You can see the, the cubby hole that the axe hollow is in actually has something in it this time. Take him down. And here we go. Ring of favor plus two. Our next ring, we're going to the Catacombs of Carthus from the Abyss Watchers bonfire. Uh, there is a ring early on on top of the pillar, so we need to go left and go across the bridge, and we'll be able to see it from the bridge. Uh, of course, we will have a couple of skellies to take care of first. Oh, had your shield up, huh, buddy? And he'll come back to life. Just don't want to get out on the bridge and get knocked down by something. That'll take care of him. Of course, we will have the roly-poly skeleton uh, coming after us here. And once we take him down, right over here, let's see our typical drop-down spot. Ring of Steel Protection plus two. Next, we're gonna be going after the Flame Stone Plate Ring plus two. Uh, we'll start from the bonfire at Demon Ruins. From here, it's relatively easy because we do have our hidden body. We'll go ahead and use both Spook and Hidden Body. Head around here. Pop down the hole. And then we're going to go down the hallway here. You'll remember there's a fake door down here. As well as that guy. He's going to patrol, so we're going to go ahead and take care of him. There we go. Now once we go in here, there's going to be a Gru and a Black Knight. They're going to be duking it out, and we'll find our ring inside here. Open this up. I'm going to go ahead and hidden body. Try to be sneaky about it. Take him out. Lickety split. Uh, you'll find your Black Knight sword here in case you want to use that. Uh, back here on the back side. Flame stone plate ring plus two. From the Farron Keep Ruins Bonfire, we're gonna grab our Dark Stone Plate Ring. We get, we've got our Gru over here. I'm just gonna take them out. Oh, hey. uh, didn't see you there through my own spell effects. Where'd you go? The other guy go. I guess it matters. We can just go this way. Now remember, there is going to be a Gru over there, but we're headed this way. Just going to bust through these to the left. Bust through these. And there's our Dark Stone Plate Ring Plus 2. So for our Covetous Silver Serpent Ring plus two, we're headed back to the Road of Sacrifices bonfire. We're going to ride the elevator up uh, and go to where Onion Bro Sigurd is at. Now, I haven't, uh, you know, this is New Game plus two. I haven't killed Yorm yet, so I am assuming that 
Onion Bro is going to be up here waiting for us. Because I haven't progressed his quest line. We should hear a hmm. Hmm. And yes, indeed, we do. We'll go ahead and uh, talk to him. We've got to kill this fire demon to get to the last ring. Uh, don't forget, if you haven't picked up your new game, plus one version, the live ring right there. So I went ahead and cut out the fire demon here so you guys wouldn't have to watch that. Uh, I have also killed the enemies on the way to the ring, so we can show you where it is real fast. So you're going to head through here like you would normally progress. Go up, take out your doggos. You've got your double dory upstairs. You now have to take it up the stairs. There we go. And then where you would normally find, I believe it's Flynn's ring that's up here. Uh, we're going to be dropping off a different side of the building. Nope, not this side. It's going to be this side. Going right here onto this slanted roof. Then we'll drop down onto this roof. There we go. Covetous Silver Serpent Ring plus two. Another new game plus two ring that's very easy to grab. Uh, after you defeat Gunder, the original Ludex Gunder, Gotta love those loading fogs, right? Even on a PS5, they're still here. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Any day now. Uh, so, directly after you kill Ludex, you can grab this. Like I said, I just wanted to get all the bosses out of the way and then come back and show all the items. We're going to head down here, directly outside of the door from Ludex's bonfire. Wolf ring plus two. For the wood grain ring plus two, uh, we're going to head from the distant manor bonfire and head back through the rifle. Go through the cave of uh, at scorpion loud meowing enemies. I still I have no idea what to call them. Anywho, go ahead and use Hidden Body so we can get through here clean. Just make your way through. As if you were going to meet Sigurd in the kitchen. And this is our room full of Silver Knights. Pop hidden body, just run past everybody. Who didn't hear me because I don't have the ring on. And then directly outside, we're gonna hook around to the right. We get our wood grain ring plus two. Okay, so for our ring of the evil eye plus two, we're gonna head from power on the wall bonfire. And we're gonna head on down here and just proceed like we're going to get Grey Rat's key. I am gonna use Spook and Hidden Body so we can just sneak in and sneak out with the, with the uh, ring. We don't have to do all the extra. Hidden Body, Spook. Get on past this Lothric Knight. Uh, for some reason, the Great Shield ones with the spear, they're just, they're not my favorite. Not at all. Uh, Hollow gonna pop out. He's not gonna know where to look for you after you pass, so no worries there. We're gonna spook and hit and body one more time. Head on down into the Room of Danger. 
right past this fella. And grab our ring of the evil app plus two. For our next ring, we're headed from the dancer bonfire and we're headed back towards uh, Osiris's garden. And out to the left here, and it's uh, the ring is pretty close to the other ring. Uh, this is a slightly different method to get to it. We're gonna go ahead and use our hidden body here. Get our cheese on. Oh, look at that! It's here waiting for us. Uh, we will do the roll-off method this time and uh, take the upper path. And then down here, you can see right there a new item that we didn't have before. It's uh, relatively difficult to get to. You have to kind of do it just right, but you're trying to roll. You don't want to try to jump. And there we go. Sage ring plus two. Our next ring will be starting from the Champion Gunder uh, bonfire. This is the one in Untended Graves, not the standard fire lake. Uh, and we'll be heading up into the shrine here. We're going to go ahead and uh, do our sneaky sneaky thing, get past our knight here. And then our other knight here. And we're just going to poke straight on in here and uh, head up around the Ring of Thrones. And once we get all the way to the top, directly behind Lothric's throne, the Laugh Ring plus three. We are starting from the Dancer of the Boreal Valley bonfire once again, heading up through Lothric. Uh, our next ring is going to be the Thunder Stone Plate ring. And if you remember where we picked up Katha's Chime, it's going to be right around in that general area. We are going to... Do our sneaky stuff. Let's get past all these guys relatively easily. Pop on up our elevator here. And once we hit the top. Yeah. We're going to go ahead and head through this room where we've got our um, summon sign here for uh, Egon. Hang a left here. And we're going to pop out on this balcony. Uh, so there's a drop down there. Remember, there is an item over here. Uh, if you haven't been around here to get the red tear stone ring. We're going to drop down here. Actually, I'm going to use spook just to make sure I survive. Take no chances. Uh, so if you remember over here, we've got Kathas. Well, if you go around the other direction in New Game Plus 2, on the Thunderstone Plate Ring Plus 2. So our next stop is going to be the Lingering Dragon Crest Ring Plus 2. We're starting from the Grand Archives Bonfire. And we're just going to take the... Uh, Big long skip that heads up to the path to the Twin Princes. Once we get up, we're gonna head towards our Wing Knight buddies. And we'll go ahead and just skip these guys. We're going to run to the right side of this and take the staircase up. See a ladder there? You could go up there and grab, uh, I believe it's the wolf wing. Something similar up there. But we're headed to this spot right here. We got our lingering dragon crest ring plus two. <laughs> okay, guys. So I saved this one for the end. Uh, the reason why, unfortunately, yes, you're going to have to kill the Nameless King on New Game Plus 2 to be able to get your last ring. Go ahead and skip this cutscene here.
and we'll head on out and pick it up. Uh, so at this point, I've already um, recorded the rest of it. All of the other New Game Plus 2 rings, so uh, I just went ahead and started recording from the time I uh, killed Nameless King there. So uh, typical loot in here, you know, you've got your Titanite slab there, always nice. Uh, up ahead on the left, you've got your... Dragon Slayer armor. Uh, I didn't pick this up this time. I forget this door actually opens for the spear, but you can grab it earlier. And then over along the right side, I believe it is. It's been a minute since I've been here. Uh, yeah, there it is. We'll find our last New Game Plus 2 ring. And there you go. Covetous Gold sil Silver... Sh oh, I always say that. Covetous Gold Serpent Ring plus two. Okay guys, so that wraps up the new game plus two rings guide. Uh, if you have any other questions or want to see any other content for Dark Souls 3, uh, I know I've put out the plus one rings, the plus two rings. Now we're, um, we've got the holes out there and the ashes. If there's anything else you'd like to see, let me know. Uh, I'll have some time to work on this uh, while we're working on the Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. So, uh, don't forget to hit me up in the comment section down below. Let me know uh, what particular class you would like to see um, in Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, any of them are very easy to start out uh, really powerful early. So uh, taking requests, guys. So uh, if I don't hear anything, uh, I'll probably just go... Um, strength build with a side of pyromancy but um, you know I'm, I'm very open to uh, your input on this so uh, anyway guys if you enjoyed the video drop a like don't forget to subscribe and hit me up in that comment section down below till the next video guys thanks for watching